Are you excited? Yes, I am, George. Uh, let's do this. Good day, viewers. You're welcome to another edition of your favorite program on TV, The Council with Reverend Tony. Let me go in, Michael, because you're not going to talk about it. Well, I'll talk about it. I'm going to take care of this and bye-bye. Sorry, I'm going to say about that. No, no, it's fine. So, back to what we're talking about. Is everything all right? It is all right as a young adult to be eager for a relationship. With the opposite sex, it is natural. But that's not enough reason for you to dabble into it. Feelings, as we know, are unstable. So you could, it's not right for you to just do anything based on mere feelings. If you're feeling like sleeping while driving, I'm very sure that you wouldn't sleep on the steering. No, not at all. Beyond feelings, it is important for you to uncover the divine cause and purpose of God for your life. It is said that without purpose, abuse is inevitable. The preacher says to us that under the heavens, there is a time for everything. Goes for that in Songs of Solomon chapter 8 verse 4 to buttress that point. It says, daughters of Jerusalem, I charge you, do not arouse or awaken love until it so desires. I'm here to tell you that there is a time to awaken love. In order to avoid abuse of every gadget we buy, there is always a manual. Therefore, for us to be able not to abuse our lives in respect to purpose, God gave us a manual, and that manual is His Holy Scriptures. Indeed, He promised to teach us and to instruct us in the way to go. Hmm, and that is in the Bible too? Of course. Psalm 32 verse 8. Hey babe, you know I strongly believe that it is not the will of God for you to experience all this um, Emotional with I mean, six relationships within three months? I, I thought as much. But I feel lonely. And that moved me to opt for those relationships. You see, something inside of me craves for intimacy with the opposite sex. And that is why I keep trying those girls. You? You can't afford to live your life based on guesses. As a believer, you have an edge. You have the Holy Scriptures. You have the Holy Spirit. You have fathers of faith and mentors in the faith that have been able to point us in the right direction. In the beginning, we saw how living in God's purpose was able to help Adam acquire his helpmate. You've got absolutely no need for help doing nothing and living recklessly in order for you to obtain the favor of getting a wife and locating your helpmate you need to live and work in god's purpose oh that's confirmed so let us pursue purpose and every other thing like Find and help me, shall be added to us. Yes, that's true. Right. You know what's very good? You are made by a day. Seriously? Yes! Glory so to God. Please don't run around and kill another thing. It's fine. It's fine. Young man, before you walk her down the aisle, please ensure that you discover purpose and that you are getting someone a help me fit for that purpose. That will be all for the council with Reverend Tony for this week. Till next time, it is me, your brother, friend and mentor, Reverend Tony. Bye.